Monica Kweiser, thanks for being with us. We saw in our report from Spain uh, that child poverty often translates into malnutrition. What else should we be watching for? Child poverty is, of course, first of all, poverty of households with children. So, first of all, it is very important that the parents find work and well-paid work in order to reduce child poverty. But then there's other measures needed to help families with children um, ha have a good life quality. And that is, for example, child care has to be uh, available so that parents can go out and work. But children are also sometimes not able to participate in social life. The parents cannot afford to send them on a school trip. They cannot take music lessons. And in some countries, we even see in winter that children live in households that are poorly heated. So that is another indicator to watch out, which adds to malnutrition. One would think that if you start in life at such a disadvantage, it's going to impact the rest of your life. People who um, have had a difficult childhood, a poor childhood, then do less well in school, do less well in the labor market, are not able to make a good living. And this inequality keeps compounding all throughout the life cycle. By the age of 50, people uh, are faced with very deeply entrenched inequality. And when they then reach retirement, it's very difficult for retirement and pension policies to make up for everything that has been going wrong over people's life cycle. Is it fair to say that austerity measures have translated in less social policies and that the most vulnerable are being affected. Some countries have been able to um, have budgetary austerity while protecting the most vulnerable groups. Other countries have been less successful in doing this. And in the case of Spain, which we just saw, there has, there's a problem with um, child benefits and child policies also being paid at the local level. And when you are in a community which is very poor and the community does not have any more means to pay those benefits, then children will, of course, suffer disproportionately. Many of the Southern Europe European countries have designed their social policies in a way that most of the money and most of the emphasis goes to pension policies. And while many retirees are of course in need, that means that there's very little space for poor people of working age or poor children to receive any benefits.